So we're at Stockton and we're watching a ship come through. Stockton break hall. It's just up here. We're staying at the caravan park just over there. It's a cold spring day. The sun's nice. Wind's sun's cold. nice. The wind's cold. This is Stockton Harbour. Newcastle Harbour. Big, big ships coming in. You see them and get off the coast all the time. But this is coming to Newcastle. Stockton Channel. Got freighters. Shipping Central, really. I think he's going all the way down. That river there. <coughs> but he's got everything from overseas on him. He's from China by the sounds of it, so he's got a lot of stuff there. <coughs> Should I say the name? Otta Chibana. Sounds Chinese or Japanese. So there'd be all sorts of things on that. Car There's parts. A flag on it. Car parts, you name it, anything from China. Cars. Cars. Bridges. Tugboats on it and the pilot, I think. No, it's a tugboat at the rear. Is that like an anchor? I don't know. Yeah. If anyone knows what the tugboat at the back is, is that what Dropping used as an anchor? To slow the don't know. ship down. Don't know. If anyone knows it, drop in the comments and tell us what the back tugboat does. We you thinking he's like an anchor or a steerage? These two on the sides, I'm guessing, are pushing him mid-channel. Okay. It's probably, I wonder if there's two on the other side. There's a big boy, he's coming into Newcastle Harbour. And I reckon up in the bridge is a guy called a pilot who will take him through the channel. Yeah, this is what happens on daily here at Newcastle. Having never seen it or recorded it, we'll do it. But yeah, coming in. Because Newcastle is such an industrious port, I'm saying it's going to go up that way maybe. So Newcastle's full of shipping and steel, and lots and lots and lots of ships come in and go out day by day night after night that's how the country keeps moving comes to port puts them on the trucks trucks take it around the countryside it's all trade trade going on all right so here we are at shepherd's hills fort this is just outside newcastle sorry about the croaky voice we both have had infections in our throat so we're slowly getting over it this is just outside of Newcastle just north of Newcastle it's a radar station during the war World War II formed part of the defense of Newcastle after the radar was moved the building was handed back to the arms for shore defense duties the radar was used for the defense of Newcastle if it came to it what I initially thought was going to be a gun emplacement was actually a radar, which is pretty good. It's pretty cool. So I thought this was originally going to be one of the gun emplacements. So up and down the coast of New South Wales during the war years, but it was actually a radar, and I guess that building there housed all the equipment and instruments. And they were sat here looking for enemy planes and ships during the war years. That's the view, that's Stockton Beach. We're down under behind them trees on the other side of the harbour is our caravan park. Stockton Beach goes all the way along up there and it ends at Anna Bay, which is Shoal Bay, which we were at last month. So we moved only a short distance down the coast, but we've got to chase the, chase the job trail. Yeah, we've got something announced. We've actually got a job in a winery. Coming up in. When's the job in the vinery start? November. Hey. November, our first job in a vinery. Yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to that. Uh, what's the 12th of November. 12th of November in Victoria. So, so 13th of December. first time, first time we've inquired about working there. Locations. And we actually landed a job, which is quite exciting for us. So this is all another, I guess, is like observation posts and stuff for during the war, war years. Those 
brave souls would st sit here day and night looking out for the enemy coming up the coast, ships and planes and so forth. But then you get mindless, mindless idiots that think it's great to go graffiti in the uh, historical parts of the country. It's just, well, it's devastating, really. Should be made to come and scrub it off the wall. So this is the back of it. And I assume here is all your observation posts. And I imagine there would have been instruments in there for radar and that sort of stuff, communications back to where the radar was actually mounted and then you've got these other pits which oh, I don't know just going guessing here this looks like something was mounted here so that could have been could have been a motor of some description oh to rotate the radar radar motor that rotated it that could be one thing up over here we have another section of it which yeah again we're only speculating we don't know what this would be uh, but if there's anyone out there that does know the history of uh, a radar station and how they lay out there's exposed wires cables I didn't even notice that. So I assume that's a power source to go somewhere. Maybe that's providing lighting. Could provide lighting into the hut there. Maybe. But again, we're only speculating. Uh, there's a big cable. It looks like a power cable beside it. So I think, not 100% sure, it might provide power to the observation tower or even the radar itself, we don't know. But if there's anyone out there that does know the outlay of uh, World War II radar stations, drop a comment. Hang on, we're on to somewhere. This is a New South Wales State Heritage listed site consisting of a former military gun battery emplacement, observation post and gunner's cottage at the terrace. It was built in 1890 to 1940. It's known as Shepherd's Hill Defence Group Military Installations, Observation Post and Gun Placement in Shepherd's Hill Battery. Signal Station. So having read a little bit just on the net then about this particular spot, we believe this would have been a position for a searchlight. So that's got a power cord and it's got a huge big cable. So this would be like a searchlight. There's one exactly opposite. It could be a searchlight as well. The centerpiece, the centerpiece here might be a motor or engine or some sort of power source for the radar. And at the back here, you got tunnels. You go down, we'll take you down and have a look. And we believe this could be like an air raid section. If people were coming over in planes trying to bomb, the soldiers could get down under here as like an air raid shelter. But again, speculating all the way. If uh, if anyone does know and has more accurate information on Shepherd's Hill and the layout and what different sections of it did, drop us a comment in the, in the comments on the way and just let us know. We're just completely speculating at this stage. We just like history. We like learning. this kind of history. We're learning more now than what we did at school. We're not entirely accurate with what we say and do, but... We do a lot of Googling. Google has become our friend and uh, we do appreciate correct being corrected because we do want to give you guys the right, right oh, information. Yeah, so in here, I can assume again this was an like an observation type post maybe. It had, it had at one stage had a roof. So again, it's not 100% certain but you can see that it's got a gap turn the concrete so we're thinking maybe it's an observation post because if you're under under fire you'd have to have somewhere you have to have somewhere to look without getting if we were getting attacked from sea and something hit this you'd think it'd still blow it up wouldn't you you would but they're built built so stealthily that they're hard to hit from sea so and you've also got to remember you're getting hit by airplanes as well so you've got to have some sort of way of getting out of the way when they uh, start shooting and bombing you. But this is the back of it. 
And again, I'm thinking now, looking at it, because it's got a roadway coming down, this could be where your, arm, your armament goes. Like, we'll have a look. Oh, I like your ammo. So you probably get supplied rifles and stuff to defend yourself. And I reckon in here, because it's all caged up, it's like an armaments room. So you've got, yeah, you've got your rifles in there and any stuff you oh. need to protect yourself from. Is that part of an old rifle? What, what's that? It's Benalda? just an iron pillar. But in there, I'd say is probably quarters as well for people on the, on watch to come here and have a break. And it had to be well protected because, as I say, you're going to get people bombing and shell on you and carrying on, so you've got to be out of the way. But yeah, that's uh, that's the layout of it, and it's uh, quite fascinating. Let's see what else we can find. So now we're on the opposite side of the river. We were over there this morning. Our camp is behind those trees. This is the walk we did this morning. We walked across down there to the park where the ship came in. We walked up the centre of town, had some lunch, came out again this afternoon. This is opposite Stockton Harbour. Still Newcastle before, the other side. And the right there's up there. Obviously it's a good dog walking bench because everyone's got the dogs out. But I just had a look here in this good channel here, they might be flooded in there, I might try that tomorrow. But yeah, this is the other side, we were walking that side this morning when the big ship came in. Then we went up again through the centre of town and back to the caravan park, which is that big post in the middle of the caravan park. Yeah, Stockton Harbour, Newcastle Port. I don't, keep, I don't know why I keep calling it Stockton Harbour, but... Yeah, it's the port where the ships come in and go out of. Very busy port. A couple of people fishing. We're out of this southerly wind, which is a bit warmer. And there's a couple, like I say, a couple of people fishing. But yeah, this is a dog friendly beach, obviously, and a look at Nobby's Beach, lighthouse at the top. Another ship going out. People on jet ski, yeah, it's all happening. All right.